Hey everyone, Scott here, aka No Revo, and I am going to do a quick demo for you today just to show you how easy it is to add color to my existing side view airliner templates. Uh, real quick though, before we get in, I just want to explain what my templates are and what exactly it is that I do. So if you go to norebo.com, N O R E B B O.com, you can see that I draw side view airliner templates. Uh, not only all white versions like this 78710 example, but if you scroll down, I also do line drawings as well. So, yeah, these are very detailed. They take me a long time to do. I do them in uh, two versions uh, with the gear down, the gear up. So, I create these just as a free and easy resource for people who want to design libraries or create their own versions of existing airliner libraries or just however you want to use them. Uh, I'm very happy to put these together. I enjoy drawing these things and I've got basically every airliner you can possibly think of. I don't have them all yet but I'm working on it. Go check it out. Norebo.com. I've got all of them right there free for download and uh, yeah let's get right into this. So let's go back to Photoshop here and I've got my A340-600 all queued up here ready to go and this is the flat version, this is the JPEG. I sell PSD versions that are layered that are much easier to work with, but that's not the topic of this video, so I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to work with the JPEG. So let's just throw on some basic color here. Um, you know, a little bit beyond just flat color. I'll do a little bit of shading, a little bit of glossiness, just, you know, just to give it a little bit of life, and you can really see how easy this is. So, okay, we've got our JPEG and we are going to add a layer. Let's add a layer there. And let's just work on this bottom one for now. I know my screen is too small here. I'm doing this on my little 13-inch Mac MacBook Pro and the screen real estate is uh, <laughs> it's a little bit tight. So please bear with me. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna s isolate this entire aircraft or this entire bottom um, template here. And then by doing that, I'm just gonna take my magic wand tool and just select outside of that. Oh, you know, you got to be on the right layer. Check the background layer, click on the white, and there, there you go. Now go back to the layer you just created. Uh, let's just do red, you know, just for simplicity, just to make this easy to see. Select inverse, and then hold down option and delete. And it looks like we didn't get everything, which is okay. I'm going to go in and add that manually. And as you can see, this, is, this isn't perfect, but so what I just did there is I took the magic wand tool. I'm holding down option, and I'm just clicking around the vertical stabilizer here just to get everything that we need. And then option delete. Of course, I'm on a Mac here. And this is a little bit different if you're on a PC. You know, this isn't really clean. Um, you can adjust the tolerance of your magic wand tool a little bit. This is tolerance is set at 32. You might want to increase that number and then you can probably get uh, some of these little details like this little fin a little bit better. But for the sake of this demo, uh, we're just going to plow through this really quick because I know it's kind of painful to watch long videos and you just want to see how you add color so as not to confuse everybody here. I'm going to just eliminate this top aircraft. Oops. Bear with me. All right, there we go. So now we're just dealing with this, and then it's not too distracting. Okay, so now that we've got this layer selected, I'm going to go into my blending modes here and choose Multiply to add the transparency so we can see underneath it. And there you go. I mean, you've got color there, but it's just we're pretty far from what this really needs to be. So what we need to do next is we need to go in and start removing color. So, and again, this is my flattened version. Some of my, my free templates are all flattened. Flattened JPEGs, semi-low resolution. So it's, it's a little bit of work to go in here and and to eliminate all this color by hand. But all I'm doing is I'm just taking the magic wand tool. Um, I'm holding down option. And I'm just clicking through all of these edges or just basically tracing the outline. And you don't have to be really accurate with this. I mean, 
you can, I mean, you can spend hours doing this, really, you really could, and it's just, just depends on how much, how detailed and how realistic you want to make this look. But I'm here to show you that it's, it doesn't require a lot of work. I'm just, I'm just hacking through this really quick. Okay, so I've got my wing eliminated there. Delete that. So as you can see, we've got the wing now. Uh, we need to eliminate the color here. And this is actually a slight arc like that. And then we come around. And now that I've got it selected, just hit delete. Got it. And then what else can we do? Oh, front gear needs to be eliminated as well. Select it and delete it. Okay. You know what I'm going to do, just simply because I didn't get a really clean selection of this fuselage and the overall outline of the aircraft. Instead of going in and like retracing the all of these um, these fins, it would just take too much time for the sake of this demo. So I'm just going to go in and um, just remove that color altogether so I don't have to even deal with it. Sometimes it's easier that way. Okay, delete that. Just select these. Uh, might as well just go all the way across like that. Delete. Delete. Now I do see a little problem here that I can fix. So you see these little notches here? We don't want that. I mean, we can clean that up really easy. So I'm just going to select an area. I've got my red as my top layer here. And then just hold down Option Delete. And it fills it with my fill color. Always make sure you're on your, your layer, that your, your color layer. I've messed that up many times in the past where I'm working on the wrong layer and then I have to go back and redo everything and it's just just not pretty. Okay, so now that's, you know, we've got the basic color there and it's actually okay. It's not perfect. It's, um, it could definitely use a little bit of shading and, and color. Or sorry, it could use a little bit of reflection. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't really know how well my little computer is going to be able to handle this kind of stuff because what I need to do is I need to use my brush tool at a fairly decent size and that may cause problems because I'm going to be using a soft brush so I created another layer I'm gonna make this uh, reflection white and then I choose my paintbrush tool and if I hold down shift I can get a, a solid or a, a perfectly straight line for my uh, my paintbrush so I'm gonna hold down shift then click and then I'm, I, I let go, I'm still holding down shift, but then I go over here and then I click again, and then I've got my perfectly straight line and my reflection. Now, I'm actually using a, a Wacom drawing tablet right now, and you can see here my the pressure of my click here was not as strong as the pressure of my click here. So that's why it's a little bit pinched. But you know what, I think this is actually gonna work okay. I mean. No one's really ever going to notice that. I wouldn't think so. I mean, because once you get your, your logos and your um, all your typography in on here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. That might actually work for now. You know what? Let's, let's redo that. There's two ways you can do this. You can use white like I just did, but it's a little bit harder to work with. So I'm going to back up. It wasn't bad what I just did. I mean, you can see that is one option. I'm actually going to do this in a lighter red. So if you choose my red color there, and let's just do like a, let's use that as my highlight color, which might work a little bit better. So come here, go back to my paintbrush tool, hold down shift, click, and then let's move this out of the way, and then shift, click. There we go. That's a little bit more of a realistic reflection or a highlight color. Let's brighten that up a little bit. So just make sure you're still on that new layer. Let's go to a levels adjustment there and let's adjust the highlights of that. Let's make it brighter if I can. 
Yeah. Perfect. Now it's still a little bit too sharp, so let's blur that out a little bit. Uh, blur, gosh, and blur too much. That's actually kind of nice. Okay, so now we've got a really nice highlight there across the entire length of the fuselage, but you can see we've got some separate problems here. It's it's extending beyond the uh, the boundaries of the fuselage, and then you can't see the details underneath. So let's see what we can do about that. So the easy way to eliminate all this extra stuff around the edges is to select this original solid fill color, or this layer, and I do that by hovering over the sun thumbnail here, hold down Command, and then click it, and that selects that entire layer, and then do Select Inverse, and you're, now you're back to the, um, you're focusing on this, this color layer here, or the, the highlight layer, sorry, and then just hit Delete, and it'll delete all that stuff on the outside of that layer and that's actually much better. Now, let's see what we can do with the getting the windows and all the details underneath to, to come back through. So, there's two ways we can do this. I'm gonna just try here, because I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna go back to my uh, blending modes palette here, in my, in, my, in my layers palette, and I'm just gonna do um, uh, option, uh, option delete, oops, oops, oops. I'm going to hold down Shift, and then the, um, the, 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 I don't even know what this key is, the, the minus key. You, you know, you've got plus and minus, hold down the minus key, or just tap the minus key, and it'll go through all the different blending modes, and you just got to go through them just to see if there's one of them that allows the highlight to show through, or it allows the windows to show through. That kind of works, but it reverses the, the black in the windows, which we don't want. Um, okay, so none of these none of these are going to work. We're going to go back to uh, normal. Not a big deal. I'm going back to normal here, and I'm going to turn off these layers. And now I'm going to go and select. Come on, computer. Here we go. Let's see if this is going to work. Mm hmm. Hmm. Use my ellipse tool here. Now that I think about it, I think the best way to do this is just to use your uh, the ellipse guide here, or the, the ellipse tool, the ellipse selection tool, and just trace that window uh, as best you can. You don't have to be totally, totally accurate. That's good enough. And then we're going to make a new layer here. And then change my fill color to black. And then option delete to fill. Let's see what that looks like. That works. So viewing it at 100%, that, that works pretty well. And basically what you have to do, because this is a flattened image, and if you want to preserve your highlight layer and your color layer without punching holes in it, you're going to have to recreate these windows or just basically duplicate this layer over and over and over again which isn't bad it just takes a few minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, I'm gonna cut the video here and then I'll uh, I'll be back uh, as soon as that's done
Actually, before I do that, actually, before I do that, I have a, a trick here that I can show you to make this go a lot faster. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. Hold on. So I'm going to go back to my window layer that I just created. So this is my window. I'm just going to move that out of the way here using the up arrow key. And I am going to put that in the exact first position. And I'm going to put this one in the exact last position. And let's count these windows here. Uh, total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we need 30 copies of these windows. So let's, um, to make this easy, uh, I'm just going to keep duplicating these until I got 30. Oops. OK, so to make this easy, I'm just going to, I've got two created. Now I need to make 28 more. So let me just duplicate those. Okay, so an easy way of doing this, actually, I know I've got 30 windows here. I counted beforehand. So I just need to duplicate this window 30 times. So let's just duplicate that by dragging it into this, um, this new layer here. So I've got two now. Let me just move that out of the way, just get it roughly there. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now let's duplicate both of those layers again. So now we have four. Now let's select them all drag it down to the new layers which duplicates it now we've got eight so you can see how fast this goes and we'll worry about positioning here in a moment let me just get these all duplicated I need 30 total just keep duplicating duplicating don't worry about position so much yep 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 and then we're good um, and then we've got let's see do we have Dun, 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 dun. All right, so I've got two extra that I don't need. I'm counting on the fly here, so bear with me. And then the easy trick is to get the first one in the exact same position or the exact perfect position that you want, um, horizontally at least, and then get this one in the exact position that you want. It's close enough. This doesn't have to be perfect. And again, since you're only working with a low-res JPEG here, you're not going to get, like, photo accurate realism. So let's put all these in the same group. You don't have to do that. I'd just like to do that just for the sake of showing this demo and keeping everything organized. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to distribute these evenly to match my original template. So I, I selected them all and then I am going to go to this um, distribute evenly command and this always throws me off. Which one is it? I think it's this one distribute horizontal centers, which is going to press that. And then, yeah, it spaces everything out. And then, voila, you've got your windows. Let me just name that. Windows. And then I'm going to move that back down in a position, roughly. You know, it's not perfect, but it works. Boom. And then now we've got our windows over our, our, uh, our colored fuselage. So let's now duplicate that layer just by click and dragging it down into the new layer there and we're going to just move that there and just start you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna for simplicity simplicity sorry I'm gonna merge this group so it's all on one layer and I'm just gonna start getting rid of these cutouts here uh, I don't need one there actually there's some weird stuff going on here so this is Windows Mid. And we'll move that. And then, yeah, let's just get rid of this stuff for now because those 
sure just the window is mid. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back to my original layers, or my win original window, sorry. And let's see here, what do I need to do? So yeah, duplicate that layer. My computer's not cooperating. Merge this group. Just do the, the rear section since that's the easiest. I think that's actually going to work out pretty well. Getting down into position. Perfect. And then we can eliminate, let's see, what is this? Yeah, everything from here we don't need. Let's name this Windows Rear just to keep things organized. And then let's just do this one more time. For the center section, let's just get this out of the way so we can see what we need to delete. Delete. And you know what, we're not even going to see these probably, so we can just delete that. Bring these back down. And you can see this is um, now overlapping the wing, so we're going to just use our magic wand tool, hold down Option, click somewhere here on the wing, and then since you're holding down Option, you're going to get a straight line like this. And you can just trace the edge of that wing, and then hit Delete, and then boom. So. There you go, you got your windows. Now, let's, um, let me just group all this together. Or, yeah, so now it's just, you've got your windows there. Windows. Now let's come back in and trace out our cockpit windows. It's kind of hard to see there, so let's just use our magic wand tool just to get all that selected. Come on, computer, wake up. Come on now. Ha ha. And then we got that window. Yeah, let's just get this color in there. Delete. Oops. Make sure we're on the right layer. Select that layer. Delete. Probably don't even need to do this because it's showing through clear enough. Yeah. Just. Select the edge of that. And like I said, and you can see here, I'm, I'm just hacking this. It's, this doesn't need to be perfect. And then when you view, view it at 100% size, it looks fine. It really does. When you come in with that highlight layer, it looks pretty good. Let's clean up that highlight layer a little bit. Um, I'm going to brush. That's kind of big. You can see what that's doing. It's just too much. So let's bring that down to, I don't know, like, that's kind of good. And we don't want 100% opacity on this because it, it's just we don't want a hard edge. So maybe like 50% is good. And then you just got to kind of feather out this front section here. Because the highlight isn't actually going to go all the way to the, the front. So that's kind of good. Um, the rear is a different story. Because it, you need something a little bit sharper. So I'm going to adjust the the size of that brush, so I select my, my eraser, and 172 is too big, so maybe 59, 49, that's actually pretty good. Actually, I'm going to adjust the opacity, you know, we can, I, I want a little bit more from here, yeah, there we go. And I see another thing that I can eliminate here, so I'm in still in my highlight layer, as you can see, and I need to trim this out this connection here. Again, this does not need to be perfect because at a small resolution like this, 1024 by 768, you're not going to see all those details. See, I'm zoomed in at 600% here and you know, you can kind of see that it's not perfect, but still it looks pretty close for the way I just hacked it. And then viewed at 100% size, it looks looks fine. Okay, so we're getting there. 
and then now if you want to add some highlight or some interest to this vertical stabilizer um, go ahead and select your color layer again which is this layer so hover over the thumbnail here hold down command and then click and then now it puts the marching ants around the, the entire fuselage or the entire layer and now you can go in and then um, add a new layer and we're just going to add a little bit of highlight here and change your uh, fill color to white go to your gradient, uh, linear gradient, make sure it's white uh, going to transparency and then just drag down here something like like this don't worry about all this stuff down over here on the fuselage because we're going to eliminate that in a moment uh, something like that maybe 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 a little bit more I want to cover the entire thing that's good enough okay so let's hide that then, then just trim out the edge of that so just follow along the edge here with your magic wand actually I didn't want to do that but that still works so turn your layer back on and delete now you've got that edge now let's delete all the rest of that and just come in here like that Okay, so now we've got a decent layer here. And actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at this, it looks a little bit too... I don't know. Let's see what this does. I'm going to put a hard reflection on this. So let's use the magic wand tool. Hold down Option. Click. And then just drag up here something like that. And then we're going to take this hit delete now you've got this and let's fade that layer way back just okay now we've got a nice little reflection there but it's still a little bit too much yeah there we go um, a little bit less on that so I'm just using my eraser to kind of knock this back a little bit that I want something a little bit softer so that's why I'm knocking back this the opacity of that and then I don't want this edge with the highlight so I'm just again using the magic wand tool holding down option and then just clicking around to get the straight line delete boom you got that so you, you can see you got a nice little reflection on that uh, vertical stabilizer there and you know you can also Another little trick is to, if you want a hard, that same hard reflection on the, along the fuselage here, select that layer. My sister is just, or my family is going crazy here planning a vacation, so I apologize for those notifications. Okay, so we are on the reflection or the highlight layer now, and we're going to harden that up a little bit. I'm going to make a copy of that first just so we have it just in case we screw up and we want to go back. So let's, um, let's just create that hard hard edge so you've got that okay family so there you go actually it's too high let's um actually oops do this again that delete be a little bit too high still I can that's better it's still not perfect I you probably don't want all this hard edge way over way over here so we're gonna kind of knock that back a little bit just so it doesn't have to just so it kind of blends into the back and um, yeah I think for the purposes of of what we're trying to show here um, this works it, it's not perfect and I am actually going to get into more complex shading and reflection demos uh, that's coming very soon and for those I'm going to use my, my PSD templates to show you the power and flexibility of, of what you can really do with these templates but I hope that made sense and please I mean if you got any questions just just let me know I mean drop a drop a question in the comments below or uh, feel free to shoot me a, an email uh, you can reach me via the contact page on my uh, my website nareba.com or I uh, you know I'm on uh, Facebook uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, etc. I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm pretty easy to find. So feel free to shoot me some questions. I'm happy to answer and um, hope this made sense.
we'll see you in the next one.